What's up guys, this is Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Call of Duty kill feed. I've seen quite a few people, myself included, using kill feeds in their thumbnail, so I figured I would make a quick little tutorial on it. Now you could just take a screenshot of your video, but it would be super low res and look terrible, so I'm going to show you two methods for making your own HD kill feeds. Method number one is super simple. Go to this website which lets you generate custom kill feeds for CSGO and recreate your kill feed that way. One thing I recommend you do is change the orange text to red to make it look more Call of Duty-esque. Then just click generate and that's it for method number one. Method number two is a method that I use, which is Photoshop. First, you want to go to this website and find a profile shot of the gun you're using. In this example, we're using the Car 98. So I'm going to go to Modern Warfare, Weapons, Primary Weapons, Marksman Rifles, and Car 98K. Then scroll down to the Modern Warfare one. You want to click on the image, then click See Full Image, and save it. Then, go into Photoshop, right click the thumbnail, click Select Pixels, and fill that with white. I'm going to fill this spot in and cut this little piece off right here for this example. There you go, that'll be your gun silhouette for your kill feed. As for the font, I use Bond Shrift Semi Bold with the tracking set to minus 25, but you can use whatever you want. Now, let's go to a new Photoshop document, minus 2000 by 1000 with a green background just to make it easier to see. We're gonna make our name yellow, then we're gonna make the enemy's names red using the same formatting we used for our name. This is the clip I want to recreate the kill feed for. There, all that's left now is the gun. We're just going to drag and drop that onto our project. Control T to free transform, right click and flip horizontally. Then just scale it down until it looks good to you and line everything up and you're done. Lastly, what if you have headshots you want to add? Well, what I do is go to the MW2 Emblems page on the Call of Duty Wiki and go down to the All Pro Emblem and save it. Then bring it into Photoshop and do the same thing you did before. Here's my finished thumbnail for one of my montages. For finishing touches, I add a stroke to the gun silhouette and a drop shadow and that's it. Alright guys, that'll do it. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. This is Joe, and I will see you in the next one.